Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be finally an update to my personal planner from PGL. I'm going to go into a little bit. I did a planner review on this, but I'm like I said in the other video, I'm getting used to this planner because I want to use it for 2023. So I decided to use it for, I believe it was October, November, and December, just so I can get used to it, work with it. I've sent her messages. She's so sweet on how to kind of navigate through this. And I'm learning little by little, but this is just a cute planner. It's undated. It's going to be my personal planner where I'm keeping track of my eating and uh, prayers and thoughts. Uh, different personal appointments that I have just kind of like an all about me kind of planner it's really cute and you guys know I love planners so this will be my 2023 planner and this is a time for me to get to know it and to learn it and be able to navigate through it so I'm going to show you thus far what I've done in it as far as how I'm learning and the things that I've added and the more I get to know it the more I can add to it and do different things with it. So this is not a review. This is more of a process video, an update on how I've been using this and how I plan to use it and use it. And then as time goes, I'm sure it's going to, I'm going to add more and take things away. So I'm really excited about this. Thank you for watching. And remember, if I can digitally journal or plan, you can too. Take care. And so here's the overall view of it, 1 through 12 are the months of the year, and then these are all of your options, and you can add them into your each monthly section that you desire, and then you have some custom sections that you can do. Then you have your weekly views and your daily views, and they are, I found out, kind of they're connected to the monthly section. So Whatever I do for a weekly view, if I click on 11, I can go to my weekly view. If I click on daily view, it would be for the month of November. I didn't know that before. I thought I had to keep all of the weeklies in the weekly and all of the dailies in the dailies, but they are linked to the month that you are currently in. I love this monthly spread because it's just a one through 31. And because this is a per personal planner, I don't need a monthly blocked plan, so to speak, but I do have that option so if I do decide to use a monthly full view I can do that as well but I like this because I like creating the dashboards to the side and then I like to just have a list of what I need to do on specific days like appointments or birthdays or things that I really really need to remember personally and then on the side is a master list of the things that personally I need to take care of for the month or just some kind of self-care like taking out a few minutes for myself making sure I do my yoga making sure that I stay on my water regimen and eating apples and fruits and I need a lot of fiber and protein in my diet so I want to make sure that I incorporate those things and remind myself to make sure that I do these things daily or as often as I can and this kit is so soft it goes with the planner I want to use soft floral type images for this planner because it's just so feminine and so cute. And this is from the Planner Shack. And you guys know I love the Planner Shack. If you don't, you can tell by my digital videos that I purchase a lot from them. They're very inexpensive. And I love the variety of kits that they have. So I really, I really use them quite a bit. Like I said, this is my monthly section and we're just going to continue on and I'll pop in as things change as far as like updating and things that I've added to this planner to enjoy it and get more benefit and use out of it.
the final result for now, but it is halfway through the month. And when I did this, it was the beginning of the month. So as you know, things change and you add things to it. So it will develop over time. This time I've added trackers to my monthly spread or my monthly section of November. I keep forgetting I can decorate these dashboards and I will do that. So I'm keeping track of the eating throughout the day, what I'm snacking on, what I have for breakfast, what I have for dinner to just kind of track it. And then also tracking the workouts that I do just simply what I've done, if I've worked out that day, if I haven't, and then my daily eating requirements. There's some things that I have to get in my regimen every single day, and I try to keep track of that, and that's going pretty well. And I just add a few stickers from different kits and just to zhuzh it up, but not much because it's just really tracking, so it's not really for decorating purposes. But I do have to add, because that's just me, I do have to add some stickers and a little color to it just to kind of yeah jazz it up a little bit I like I like that and like I said it is going well and then I have mood tracker I'm not doing too well with that I keep trying to do the mood tracker but it's not working out for me so I'll probably nix it then I have this progress tracker that I'm loving just some kits that I wanted to kind of continue to finish before the year is out that I have it all year long and I'm doing really well even some of these have been completed since doing this video. I think I'm updating it now as a matter of fact, yeah. And I'm really excited that I completed it and I'm trying to think of a reward for myself for completing my journals. I think there's a keyboard that I want to get for my desktop and that's what I may treat myself if I complete these tasks. So I'm excited about that. And it is a good idea that she put this in here because I can track my progress and I can really see that I'm close to the end and it motivates me to do more. And then you have the savings jar and then you have the transaction log where I'm just keeping track of what I spend because I spend a lot of money on digital kits and I need to keep track of where my money is going and how much and curtail it if I need to and just give myself a, a limit to what I can spend each month on digitals because two, three, four dollars, it adds up over and over again. Before you know it, you can spend a hundred dollars, fifty dollars on different things. And then also here, there was an envelope, sinking envelope. I'm just using it for my credit cards and I'm just put money aside to cover my credit card bills for the month. That's how I'm using my trackers. And like I said, as I need to, I'll add more to the tracker. And then you have the devotional section, which I'm keeping up with or trying to keep up with sermon notes and Bible study notes, just reflections, not taking notes in here from the sermon or Bible study, but what I gleaned and things that stuck out with me. So I'm enjoying that process as well. And I probably will continue that throughout the following year. I'm also enjoying the prayer section of this planner it has a prayer journal section and I just use it to just write play prayers of reflections and things like that so I love that as well I have also decided to use some custom sections I'm going to use it for addresses for my doctors some people that I keep in contact with that I like to send things to I'm keeping it right here so that I can have it in one place and have access to it whether it's on my iPhone or with my iPad if I happen to be out somewhere and I need it I have sticky notes all over the place. So I am going to use that for addresses. And then it's going to be another section. I don't know if I made it here, but there's going to be another section for vocabulary words. I love learning words. And so I have sticky notes and words like everywhere. And when I was in grad school, I had a notebook of all the words as I came across them. Too many words for me to try to put into the notebook but now I have a list of words that I've currently come across that I want to add to it so I'm going to have a little mini dictionary of words that I want to learn and kind of incorporate in my vocabulary. I think this is from PGL planners but I have a contact list and I brought in a blank page and then I'm copying and pasting it on to the two pages. There's a dark mode and then there's a light mode and I can use that to put in, like I said, doctor's names or someone's personal name, their email address and phone number. It's just a great place for me to have things all in one place when I need to access information for business and or personal, like I said, doctors and things like that. Another thing that I'm trying and I'm adding to it is 
a month vision board for me and I see a lot of people do it with kind of like an inspirational vision board for themselves and they will go like on Pinterest and bring in images and inspiration and motivational quotes and things like that so I decided to try to do that myself and I really enjoyed the process I got some quotes and some nice inspiration and just some cute things just a reminder of what to do for myself and to be grateful and thankful and to take it easy and some goal setting and I really enjoyed this process so you see me putting these things on now but then I'm going to remove them and add a hunt and seek creative kit which is so cute it's fall but it's pumpkins but it's pink and it's, it's just super cute and it adds a really nice fall pink blush color flavor to the page. We are coming to the end of this video and this update and process. I hope you were inspired and encouraged by this video. I love the way this pink page of the vision board turned out with goals and just inspirational thoughts. I think I'm going to try that for next month and also for next week, Monday. I've been putting this off for too long. I finally got some direction in terms of how I want to do it, but look out for a giveaway and I hope you'll be a part of it. Thank you for watching and happy Thanksgiving. Take care.